Hello and welcome to this pick a card reading video. In this video, we will be dissecting what you should do for a career. This is mainly for what you should do as a long-term career or your main career. This isn't really anything involving side gigs. This is what you should be doing in your career. And I will say beforehand, if you don't resonate with any of the stacks, then this video just isn't for you. You can come back at a different time when I do one of these videos again in the future, which I plan to do. So don't force yourself to try and pick a stack just because you're watching the video. If you don't feel drawn to any of them, then that is completely okay. Um, but I did intuitively choose crystals for each stack. There are six cards in each stack. And for card, or I should say for stack 1A, I chose Moonstone. For stack 2B, I chose Clear Quartz, a Clear Quartz point. And then for stack 3, I chose a Labradorite Teardrop. If you need more time to intuitively choose your stack, you can go ahead and pause the video now. Other than that, we will get right into it. Hello, Stack 1A. Welcome to your pick a card reading video. So first, I want to get out of the way over here. You'll probably be drawn to the words that are listed on this post-it note. So I will say out loud what they are and they are career options that I have listed. And they are advocate, counselor slash therapist, social worker, psychiatrist, mortician, comedian, public speecher, speaker, sorry, somebody who works in HR, or somebody who works in communications of some kind. And I will explain to you the reasons as to why I listed these careers specifically. So I know there's a big jump between, let's say somebody who is a mortician, and then right underneath that I listed comedian, but hear me out. This group, of, oh, also I want to say, um, what you do for a career, or what I suggest for you to do, doesn't have to be the type of person you are, um, you know, outside of your work or career. Some people, it's not like you're being a different person, but you're showing different aspects of yourself, right? And different strengths. People have different strengths in your in your personal life versus your professional or work life. So I especially want to say that for you because I feel some of you maybe in general feel that you are more shy or closed off or like outside of work, you prefer to just do things for yourself. But in terms of your work or career, I see you doing things uh, where you communicate with a lot of people or you're in contact with many people. I especially say that because of the Eight of Swords upright and the Man of Swords upright. And this is the gay tarot deck. So um, the Man of Swords, let me actually check right here. I just want to make sure. Man of Swords is, yes, is the Knight of Swords. So, oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to have myself. Let me just... There's just like, you know, I, when I read tarot, there's so much, and I, I'm like this too when I'm reading for people in person, I'm like, there's so much, when people ask questions, I'm like, there's so much oftentimes that I need to say and get out, where it's just, it's all be, being thrown at my head at once. But, Eight of Swords, upright, when I think of somebody, in terms of Eight of Swords, I think, uh, the key word is victim mentality, and it's, I think of somebody who needs help to get out of their own head or to get out of their circumstances. And I think you would be great at doing that for other people, which is especially why I wrote down advocate, counselor, slash therapist, and social worker, and psychiatrist. I feel that you would be very good at helping people maneuver through their obstacles that they have in life. And I think especially when things get dark, which is also with the death card in reverse, I think with when things are very heavy and deep and maybe things involve illness or actual death you know I 
think you would be really good at navigating that for other people. I don't know about your own personal life, but I know that for other people, you would be somebody that is reliable, who has the right things to say, and is professional, and also at the same time able to relate to that person, especially with the Sage of Pentacles here. Sage is King of Pentacles here. And so I think you're able to keep a very level head when situations aren't pretty and people really need help. People are really down and out. You're able to keep a level head. You're able to get things done in a in an efficient manner so as to not... And also with swords too. Uh, pentacles, Sage of Pentacles is about efficiency and with the man of swords or the knight of swords that's about also efficiency but things being done in a in a quick manner so i really feel that you will get things done in a quick and concise manner but also with the king of pentacles here in a way that you have a plan you're able to go through the plan maybe you're organized i think also i don't think i think you're organized to a in, in a way, but not completely, because we do have the swords energy, and swords likes to be organized and practical, but they also are able to, and you are likely able to, with new information or with changing circumstances, you're able to shift, and if you need to stay, steer off of your plan and do something different than what you originally intended, I see you being good at navigating that. Also, with the two of wands and the sage or king of wands here, I see you being able to when things pop up, being able to navigate through situations and being able to, so again, being efficient, but being able to, on the fly, make decisions and not being so strict in the plans that you have laid out, which is also why I said comedian too, because I think there's a lot of ways in which you're really good at communicating yourself. And you can even, I think too, you could be somebody who has a dark sense of humor with the death card being in reverse and with there's some heaviness that I feel like you're really good at handling so I think with the comedian aspect you might may have a dark sense of humor or you're really good at turning your pain into something more beautiful or something more efficient in your life and for other people as well you may be somebody who has gone through a lot of tumultuous times in your life and you're able to use that to help other people through experience I think you've gone through many experiences in life and you're able to tap into that. Also, I think some of you are just, maybe some of you, this may sound weird, were just really good at school. Maybe you're a good test taker or maybe even if not a good test taker, you're just really good at picking up on information and also context clues. So if you're, you're able to tell even without people saying maybe what is going on or how they're feeling and you're able to navigate around that, which is really good if you are a social worker, advocate or counselor or a psychiatrist as well. Uh, but comedian, communications, mortician, yeah, especially because of the death card being reversed. That's, like, one of the main reasons, obviously, that I had stated that. Also, when I think of mortician, that when I, well, when I think of king of pentacles or sage of pentacles here, I think of somebody who does work that is efficient. And it's not always about, when I pulled this card, I actually didn't think about how much money you'll make. Because you pulled this card, you probably will be at least stable in what you're doing. And you'll be able to support yourself. Maybe you'll make a lot of money. I'm not getting major indications for that. I think it's more about doing work that you can save up money. You can put money away. And also you can still do stuff on your day-to-day -day basis. And also have room for some extra. Okay. Um, what was I going to say though? Communications, public speaker. Oh, Brittany, what were you going to say? Oh, um... King of Pentacles, I think of somebody, somebody who does work that is more routine um, or necessary. So that's why I thought of mortician as well, connecting that with the death card in reverse. Because being a mortician, that's work that is necessary and it's like labor-intensive work. But it's work that, well, it, it can be. I guess I'm thinking more of like the uh, grave diggers. So grave diggers, I mean that as well. But mortician... Because I think you're able to handle the darkness of things and you're able to, again, remain professional. But it's also something where a mortician, that's work that needs to be done and it's very important. So I think the work that you do, if you decide to go on this path of this reading, is very important. 
and you will be very good at it and very good at maneuvering it. And I think a lot of you really won't even understand how good you are at it or you know you'll be good at it, but you won't understand the impact that you have and the type of work that you do. And again, a lot of it is about that communication piece, which is also why I said HR, because I feel like you're really good at not just like quote unquote handling people, but communicating with them, making them feel seen and heard and understood and making sure that people's concerns are taken care of. Especially I want to highlight the advocate one again because there are many ways you can be an advocate. And for example, being an advocate, usually people don't make a lot of money, but that is work that is so impactful. Like I imagine you will make such an impact on people's lives and what the Sage of Wands or the King of Wands here. I see you doing work that you are a leader in some way. And that could be something like an advocate or maybe you do work where you're almost self-employed or you're your own boss or like manager. Maybe you make your own hours, uh, whatever most applies to you that you feel. But with Sage of Wands, King of Wands, I think of somebody who is a leader and who's not afraid to try new things. So no matter what you decide to do, I see you being somebody who isn't afraid to try new things as long as it is pertinent to what you are doing and as long as you think it is helpful for other people or even if you think it's more efficient. I see you being very good on the fly. Two of Wands here too, I think goes beautifully with the Sage or King of Wands here where you're able to easily go on the fly and you're able to try new things. I usually think of three of wands with this, but with two of wands too, I think of somebody who could travel for work. So if that resonates, you can take that. I don't think... Hmm. If you do travel for work, I think it'll be more so... Like not somewhere like way across on the other side of the world. I think it'll be more so maybe you'll... Like I'm thinking a uh, social worker... A lot of times social workers have to go to different people's homes or to different, like if you're a hospital social worker or a clinic social worker, you go to different offices or different rooms within the hospital. So I see more so that where you may have to move around or be somewhere within your city or community. Some of you maybe will travel further than that. I don't see that being as much of the case, but you may have to move around more or... This can also indicate having to move for works. So doing this type of work, you'll have to move. Or to get a career in this realm, you will have to move to go to the college you'd like to go to. Or to do your, um, what do you call it? Like, you know how people do clinicals before they actually become doctors? I'm thinking it could be something like that. You may have to travel for um, during that period. And yeah, if you don't see your list of careers here... Uh, If you still think your career falls in line with what I have pulled in terms of the cards here, then take that as you wish. If it does not resonate, you can try and go back and pick a different card if you'd like. But I really feel that this resonates very strongly with a lot of you. Because I can feel it, like, in my... I can just feel it in my heart. Like, not intensity, but just, like, a, a knowing. And I feel, like, at peace, but I feel strong in my in my messages here i hope you enjoyed this reading stack one or a uh if you'd like to you can check out my socials they're all listed down below in my link tree everything is pretty much at bernie solicit keeling but especially check out my tiktok by the time this is uploaded i don't know if tiktok will be around anymore i'm filming this um quite a bit in advance because of Uh, personal things going on so I don't know if TikTok will still be around but if it is at Brittany's Solistic Healing there you can also check out my website Brittany'sSolisticHealing.com also make sure that you like this video if you enjoyed it you can comment uh, which stack you chose if you chose this one and if it resonated with you and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you'd like it really helps me out a lot all right 1a I hope you enjoyed and take care Hello to B. Welcome to your pick a card reading. So there is a little post note here and I know that that can be distracting with what's written on there. So I will tell you what is listed here first and then I will get into the reading. So I have here stack 2B careers and I wrote down accountant, financial counselor, business analyst, business owner slash manager, work from home job, a surgeon, doctor, or travel nurse, and psychiatrist. And I did write down psychiatrist for 
uh, stack 1A as well. So if you are a psychiatrist or want to do something in that realm, you could check out stack 1 or A as well. But to B, I have indications that, oh, and this is what I said for stack 1A as well, you may um, have a type of career or this may indicate a type of career that is very different from who you are in your personal life. And it could it's okay to be somebody not different but have different aspects of you different parts of your personality that shine differently in your personal versus professional life and for 1a i said that for them some of them may be quiet or shy um at home or in their day-to-day life maybe they prefer to keep to themselves maybe they prefer to not have many friends or anything but then in terms of their career it's the opposite. So that's what I was saying in general. Oh, because like for Stack 1A, a lot of them I feel would do like communications type careers, things that are very communication based or where, where they would have to talk to many people. So just keep that in mind. These careers could be different from the kind of person people view you as. So for you, I view you in terms of career, somebody who is just very work oriented is the feeling I got when I was how do I say this? Like I think you a lot of you care a lot about your career. And especially I want to say first right off the bat, the youth of cups being in reverse, I feel that a lot of you would be so how do I wanna word this? A lot of you will be so interested in your careers or so um what's the what am I trying to say what's the phrase like not enveloped in your career but um, I guess just emotionally connected to your career and that could be because you care about the people you're involved with or the lives that you have an impact on or because you're very work oriented or money oriented so whichever of those applies to you most you can take that um But, okay, what I was trying to say earlier is that I feel a lot of you are very career-focused and you want to make sure that you choose a career, and this would be a career that you would choose that provides you with great financial stability and a need to not worry. I think some of you have to worry, though, about or be thinking about... I feel like I, it's hard for this group. I was easily flowing with my words in group one A, so let me try and think what I'm trying to say here. It's like, <laughs> okay, some of you have to be careful about choosing a career that is more about the money than about your true intentions. I think for a lot of you, though, because of what I had just previously said, you will enjoy the type of work you do, but if you're in it for the reasons of... And again, this reading is about what you should do, and maybe a lot of you growing up didn't have a lot of money, so that's why you chose this type of career, but maybe now you like it, or maybe you liked it before, but that's there's other things maybe you liked more or that you liked just as much, but you're like, I would rather do this thing... Because it makes me more money, provides me with more stability. So, for some of you, that may resonate where it's... You may be good at many things as well. But it's like, I chose to do this because it makes me good money. And I think a lot of you, too, maybe want to retire early. Actually, I don't want to say that. I think some of you may want to. I think some of you want to just work for a long time. And, like, provide for yourself and for future generations, specifically, you know, if you have children or anything, or if you want to leave behind a legacy, or after you pass away, eventually, maybe you want to leave money to charity. I think a lot of you will save up money. I think a lot of you will actually be really good at saving money. There's an indication of wanting to make a lot of money, but at the same time, saving a lot of money. And also, that ties in with the careers that I listed, because not only do a lot of these make you a lot of money, But they involve money. So that makes you also more smart with your money if you're able to tap into that. So accountant and financial counselor, I mean business analyst, business owner, manager. I think a lot of you will be very good at doing things that are very practical. But I do want to say uh, here at the Three of Swords, in reverse, when that's in reverse, and especially, you know, when I pulled this in terms of career, 
I was thinking of somebody who could be a healer in some way. And so I do want to say that's especially why I said surgeon, doctor, nurse, and especially travel nurse because of some of the other indications, such as a two of swords maybe. But I think a lot of you want to do careers that make you good money, but I think a lot of you still want to help people in some way. And account- if you're an accountant, financial counselor, like you can still help people. Business analyst, you, you're still able to help people. So I would really tap into that to make sure that your wanting to help people shines through over anything else. Like, sure, money's great and you want to be financially stable and successful, like, leave a legacy behind, you know, all the things I had said earlier. But make sure you tap into that healing potential that you have. You are a healer, just not in a way, you know, that, like, I do Reiki, right? So not in the way of an energy healer. But in a more logical way. A healer in a very logical way. And I see you being very practical and able to pick up the pieces and put them together. I see you being very good under pressure and not having to, like, not worrying much if things don't turn out the way you expect. Or things not going your way or, like, a client's way, for example. I see you being very calm and being very knowledgeable, and so with that knowledge, you you gain strength in that knowledge, and so because of that, you're able to make good decisions, and if things maybe you, you find out aren't good decisions that you've made, you're able to easily bounce back. I don't see you being a super, um, well, actually, let me see here. I think you have to be careful, because uh, with whatever type of work you do, that you don't make mistakes, because I think you may easily, I don't want to say easily make mistakes, but I think sometimes you'll overlook things and that can also be because you think you know what you're doing and it, the confidence can turn into cockiness sometimes or if you, you you just feel like you want to get a lot done at once. I see you very easily not making a lot of mistakes, but I see you making some crucial mistakes if you're not careful so I would be careful with that um the four of cups tells you to really consider everything that's going on and four of cups can also indicate uh working from home which is also why I said that something where you work from home or you if you like travel for work you don't stay in one place which is also why I said travel nurse but I think you could also have the type of career that and I also kind of said this in stack one a bit but some of you may have careers that even if you don't make a lot of money, it'll be work that is very necessary. Think work like plumbing. You could be a plumber or an electrician. Some of you, Four of Cups is more so monotonous day-to-day stuff, construction work. Some of you may do stuff more so like that. Um, so that's also what I would keep in mind is doing work that maybe Four of Cups is more repetitive or monotonous. Some of you may just have simple office jobs as well. I get that through here so make sure and like especially if it's in like a financial department I don't see you doing I don't see you being specifically a leader like a boss that doesn't mean you won't be unless if you again are self-employed but I don't see you like overlooking a company but I see you being very I'm getting very uh, Capricorn and Virgo energy from this reading um is there anything else I'm thinking of? Any other ones? Maybe mm, maybe a little bit of Aquarius. But so if, if you have placements with that and those signs that you think resonate, then you can take that as well. But I just see you being very hardworking, logical, practical, getting the work done, being efficient, but sometimes overlooking things because of A, cockiness, or B, trying to get so much done at once. So make sure for you... That you don't rush yourself. That's a main thing I would say. And also make sure that no matter what you're doing, don't get so involved in your work that you're thinking about work 24-7 or that you overwork yourself. I think this group has a big possibility of that. And I'm trying to think because I don't see you being like a boss or anything just from this. But I see you with the two of swords here. You could be somebody who does negotiation type work as well. And with the Youth of Wands, which is the... Yeah, wait, have I been saying it? I think it's Page of Wands. Let me look. Yeah, the Page of Wands in reverse. 
I think it's really interesting that that's in reverse and it's paired next to the Four of Cups because that can either indicate that you really hate when things are stagnant in one note, but some of you will actually really enjoy it. So it can indicate one or the other, and sometimes that happens in tarot where it can indicate either one extreme, quote-unquote extreme, or the other. And I just feel that a lot of you will, like 50-50... 50% of you maybe love monotonous work and things staying the same. Maybe you hate change. Or maybe even like 70% of you, I want to say. Because it really does feel like just like getting things done in this group. And maybe the other like 30% of you with the Youth of Wands being reversed. If you don't switch things up at least every once in a while, that may cause you to be very burnt out. So... Whichever side of that you fall on, just take that into consideration as well. Um, I think that is mainly what I have to say. Is there anything else I have to say about this? You know, I don't think so. I just see a lot of hardworking people. Uh, and I think I said everything I need to say. So... To be, thank you so much for watching and listening to this video. If you liked it, you can like the video for me. You can comment down below which stack you choose. So if you choose this, if you chose this one, then you can say that and say if it resonated with you or not. Um, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. That really helps me out a lot. You can check me out on all of my socials. They are listed at my link tree. Um, but across everything, it's basically at Brittany Solistic Healing. I do not have an X or Twitter account, though. I do have a Threads, though, which is a, a lot more peaceful. Uh, you can also check out BrittanySolisticHealing.com. That's my website. I offer different services, such as tarot, reiki, and astrology. And that is all. I hope you enjoyed to be. Thank you so much, and take care. Hello, Stack 3C, and welcome to this Pick a Card reading video, or portion of the video, I should say. Okay, so you may notice that there is a little stack of paper, or it's a sticky note, post-it note, and I will read that all out first because I know that your eyes may be drawn to that, and on here I have your careers that I recommend for you. But your reading is different from everybody else's, and you'll see why, because I don't list much for actual careers. So I say, working alone, doing something different from family members, moving and traveling for work, or clients from all over the country or world coming to see you, uh, not making a lot of money, being an artist or a creative, and being a holistic... Uh, um. <clears throat> Excuse me, a holistic or spiritual practitioner. So, with this, the main actual, the main actual careers I was getting were in relation to uh, the last two things I said. So, being an artist or creative, or doing something in the holistic or spiritual or metaphysical space. I think a lot of you will hold shame for the kind of work that you are drawn to or you'll feel that it's impossible to do or that it isn't a job that is helpful for the world, for society, or for your family. So you you may shun yourself or family members may shun you or be disappointed in you in some way for the type of work that you are drawn to. I think a lot of you... Well, here's the thing. So, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, as soon as I pulled that, I'm like, oh, no. Because I think that can point to the part where I said not making a lot of money. I think, especially if you are a creative, you will have to... And if you, like, have a small business and whatnot, I think you won't be super rich in this lifetime. At least not through this work alone. At least not at first. I don't see that being a thing, though. And I know that that will really make family mad. And for two main ways, there are two main ways in which it could make family mad. One way is if your family has such high expectations of you because you came from a an upbringing or uh, having family, family members that make a lot of money or do very important work in terms of how society views work to be important. 
like being a boss, making a lot of money, or or being a doctor or something like that, right? Or on the other side of this, it could be, I think, I wonder if some of you are also um, immigrants, first generation or second generation people, wherever you are. And even if not, I feel like maybe some of you didn't grow up with much, um, with much money, much access to resources. And I think that could also be why family places so much expectation on you. And also, um, when I said different from, fa- from family, I think some of you could... Uh, it's believed that you were maybe going to follow in the footsteps of your siblings or your parents, great grandparents, great grandparents. Um, yeah, grandparents, great grandparents. Okay. But you could be breaking that. And going off and doing your own thing. And that could also be very disappointing to family. I wonder too if like, this is kind of random, but I wonder if some of you, not really random, but it's more specific. Some of you maybe have been, are from a line of, um, some of you maybe are from a military family. And so whether you were male or female, you were told to go along that route so if that resonates with you you can take that I don't see that being a thing that you end up doing though I mean it could be but it's not like something you're passionate about if it is something you end up doing um I actually almost did write down soldier for this though and I'll tell you why even though I wrote uh I put down uh the card the intuitive card the intuition card um which also the intuitive is basically the moon which also ties in with you know, the intuition and the creativity and artistry that I was mentioning. But I think you, if you were going along that route, you could use your intuition to help you. Um, let's say you're at war, right? God forbid, hopefully you never have to go to a war. But let's say you're in battle or something. And you would be able to help use your intuition to know where to go and where not to like step. You don't want to step into any traps or have any bombs go off, right? That's just, that's a very extreme example. Um, yeah, I'm just looking here because Ten of Pentacles and Reverse. And also, look, I keep forgetting. The guide is, okay, yeah, guide is queen and re- queen. The guide is the queen. So, guide or queen of Pentacles is in reverse. And so, I feel that with this line of work, you won't necessarily make. Enough, you won't make a lot of money and it's not expected that you'll make enough money to support a family of people. It could even be to support yourself as well. So the work you could do, you might have to work overtime, extra hours, or pick up additional shifts. Or it could just indicate if you were to live alone, you wouldn't be able to afford living alone. So maybe living with somebody else. Like once you have a partnership or a roommate or a friendship or family member, then you'll, you should be better off. But living alone would be harder for you to afford your living expenses, especially depending on where you live or where you grew up. I wonder if a lot of you, if a lot of you are, um, for those of you who are from America, I wonder if a lot of you are either from the Midwest or from the South, and you want to move to either the East or West Coast. For some reason, I'm picking up on that, so if that resonates with you as well, you can take that, um, because living along the coasts is where most of the population in the U.S. is, but it's also, you know, it tends to be a lot more expensive, So, keep that in mind. But I wonder if some of you are at least a little bit worried about finances and being able to afford things, but not enough to have it run your life. And so, if your family is the opposite of that, that can be really jarring for them. Yeah. But really, the parts about the creativity and the holistic and spiritual side of things is the Sage of Cups or the King of Cups upright and the Intuitive or the Moon upright. I think, and also with going be, going off the beaten path or going off the path that's expected of you or that your family wants you to do is the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Guide of Wands in reverse. And the Guide is the Queen of Wands in reverse. Oh, that's also why I thought of doing uh, the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Guide of Wands in reverse is why I wrote down working alone. You may have to travel often for work or move to be able to get a degree for what you want to do for work or you you may have to move to get better access to careers let's say you want to be a marine biologist right you probably shouldn't live in the middle of the united states and 
yeah, let's just say you're a marine biologist, you live in the middle of the United States, it would be harder. Even if you live along the coast, you still have to travel, go out in the water a lot of times for research. Depending, I guess, on what the specifics are of your career and job description. And with the Guide of Wands or the Queen of Wands being in reverse, Queen of Wands is a very social butterfly. And since it's in reverse, I think you would do work and you would work best alone and not with other people even with the moon too the moon is also very um uh seclusive secluded and so i feel that you would work best alone without the input of others i think you probably wouldn't work as well with a team and i wonder too if you're probably somebody who prefers to go with the flow for what you do for work so you don't have a strict routine and that's mainly with the guide or queen of pentacles in reverse i think you probably wouldn't prefer to have a strict set routine that you do and i just really get the sense that you wouldn't work as well in combination with other people working alone would be best for you and that helps you tap into your creativity and into your intuition the most I'm trying to think of if there's any way I could see you doing anything other than something creative or something in the metaphysical or holistic space, and I just can't. Part of that, like, even something like massage therapy, I still consider that. Like, if it's something healing, I think that could also fall into this category, but I think it should be something that allows you to express yourself either creatively or intuitively. So if you are a massage therapist, let's say, that could also... Because that is... That, by some people, is considered holistic, Um, I would also recommend adding on to that Reiki therapy if you are able to, just as an example. Uh, let's see, what's, like, a more mainstream job? Like, there are people who I know who I was in Reiki classes with who, there's a lot of people, actually, who are nurses. So, you could be a nurse, but also, like, tap into your Reiki as an, like, that would be an example. Or you could do something alternative, something alternative and that is very different from, uh, modern society. You could be a death doula, even a birth doula, you know, something along those lines, something that's more alternative and something that maybe doesn't make you the, here's the thing, you may even end up making good money from this, but I don't think that's as much of a concern for you and it's more about the helping aspect and what you're able to do and I think too, it's even more than just the helping aspect for other people. I think the work you do for helping others is going to genuinely help yourself and that's what's really going to help you feel drawn to this work let's go back to the massage therapy point let's say you have really bad pain in your right calf and now you know the skills after becoming a massage therapist to also do uh, the work on yourself or you take up reflexology and then you can do that on yourself and that will help heal you some of you um especially with the moon here may have issues with mental health or physical health or spiritual health too i wonder too if some of you will be doing work that's related to past life a past life or many past lives so if you are a healer of some sort in this lifetime you may have been a healer in a past lifetime or you've wanted to be you've wanted to be a healer maybe in a past lifetime but you weren't able to tap into that fully because of the circumstances and the times um I think some of you, too, could be, mm, well, I was going to say, but I actually don't think that. Some of you could be teachers, but if you are, it would have to be something very specific to the point of maybe one-on-one teachings or classings with people. But I don't see you in, like, a managerial boss-type situation. I just see you wanting to, I keep saying wanting to, but it's more than just wanting to. It's more so, like, feeling drawn to something and feeling like this is what fulfills you it's not even about wanting to some of you maybe it is the part about wanting to help people but I think again at the end of the day deep down it's about wanting to help yourself and doing this kind of stuff helps you in some way or it 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 makes you feel like a good person or again the past life connection or the karmic connection you could be that could be why I'm thinking that I'm trying to think I really am trying to think um other than the holistic creative sphere if there's anything else I'm seeing Mm, I did say the moving and traveling a lot so you may do odd jobs and move around a lot just to do random stuff maybe it's hard for you to keep a job and so you have to move around maybe it will take this 
reading is just an indication that it will take you a long time to get to where you want to be career-wise, whether that means you don't know what it is you want to do or it will be a lot of schooling. But trust in your intuition, the intuitive card, the moon card. Trust in your intuition to lead you along the way. I don't see it being... It might even... With this reading, it still might take a while for things to click with you. I see things taking a while, whether you know now or you know in the future, for things to really settle in. So maybe you do end up make like making good enough money to provide for yourself and maybe even other people. But I, I see that taking a while to get there. And Spirit wants you to know that, especially with these two wand cards in reverse, that it will, it will take a while to get there. It's not something that can be rushed. So try not to rush things. And yeah, I think I'm going to leave it at that. But I hope you enjoyed 3C, this pick a card reading. If you liked the video, you can uh, go down below, like the video for me. If you'd like, you can comment down below which stack you chose, which if you're listening to this one, it would be 3C. And you can say if it resonated with you or not in any other comments you have. You can check out my link tree, which is listed in the description, but basically all my social medias are at Brittany Slistic Healing, but I do not have an X or Twitter account. I do have a Threads account, though. You can also check out my website, BrittanySlisticHealing.com, where I offer Reiki, astrology, and tarot services, and some other things as well. Um, I didn't mention in the other videos, but I do have an ASMR channel too. I know all the people who are into this kind of stuff can also tend to be more into ASMR. Hey, that could also be a career. A, a, oh my god, I can't speak. That could also be a career option for you, being an ASMR creator. But I have an ASMR channel. It's li listed down below, or it is Brittany's ASMR. And I think that is it. Thank you so much for listening and watching, and I appreciate you. Take care. Thank you so much for watching and listening to this video. If you liked the content, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and comment down below as it really helps my channel out a lot. You can follow me on my socials listed here on the screen, and you can also check out my website, brittanysholistichealing.com, which is also listed below. Through my website, I offer Reiki, Astrology, tarot, and other services. Thank you and blessed be.